Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something a little different. We had uh, our uh, fishing tournament over the weekend up north for Alice in Winterland, but they canceled the tournament portion, but we still went fishing anyway. And uh, we had some luck. We caught a bunch of panfish, a bunch of crappies, perch. And we got this nice northern here, and I figured it'd be nice to keep one and get some, some meat. And there's actually a really easy way to play these that a lot of people don't know. So we're going to explain that today. Got Mike behind the camera. And let's, uh, let's jump right into this because this guy's pretty slimy. So, it's called the five piece method. And the first cut you make is going to be right behind the head where the gill ends. And right down just a little bit to the backbone. That's it. A little cut. And you're going to do the same thing in front of the dorsal fin back here. Flip it around here. And now, we are going to go behind the head, make a 90 with your knife, and just follow that backbone. And you'll feel your, your knife clipping the top of them Y bones. Talking to you. He is. Let me come up. There is one boneless fillet. Now, this is the second cut. Is going to be so you can see your Y bones right here. They run along each side, and we're going to avoid those by laying it on its side and just doing your normal cut down to the belly here. Same thing in the back, down to the belly, or the anus, and you're going to flip it back up on its back, and you can feel the Y bones with your fingers right here. Feel them all along there. If I scrape the knife, you can hear them. And we're just going to go to the upper side of that and just follow that along. And once you get the initial cut going, we can flip them over, like so. I'll do it from this side, I'll do it backwards. And then you just follow that along. Cut along the that one I got poked through the skin a little bit. That's right. Follow that along, and then get down to the belly here, just cut it off. Leave all that belly meat on there because that doesn't taste very good. There is your second piece. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fill them Y bones. That's just an old hound. Yeah. Old yellow lab. Pretty grumpy that he's not getting dinner yet. Let me just follow it along. Open up here. Make our last cut down to the belly. Oh, he's getting slimy. That's one problem with Northern, they get slimy. Yep. <clears throat> Supposedly it's their defense mechanism. Yeah, supposedly. Probably help if my knife was a little sharper too. Hey, at least you can find your knives. Found two of three of them. I can't find mine. They are so sliding, sliding right off the board. There we go. Cut that belly meat off. There's the 
together. Three chunks. Yep. So now if this is an easy section. We just got the tail meat left, and there's the Y bone stop at the dorsal fin. So you don't have any Y bones from here back. So this is the easy part. You can just come along just like you do a normal fish. Follow the rest of that backbone. Come through. And same thing on the other side. Finish that belly cut a little bit better. Follow that spine down. And you can skin it like normal. But there is the rest of your carcass. See all the Y bones left in there? All the entrails, everything else, junk. So that is simple. Five nice big chunks of meat. I mean, it's pretty good. That's a 23 inch pike, and we got quite a bit of meat there. So easy as that. So for everybody that doesn't want to deal with them when you can just catch them and throw them back. If you know the simple steps, it's yep. a, like you said, a lot of meat you get off well, of. I mean, that's not even, you know, a, it's a decent pike, 23 inch. Yeah. I keep anything probably 20 and over. Anything under that, your Y bones tend to take up obviously most of your meat, but this was a nice healthy fish, so. Yeah, good fatty. Yep, be good eating. Yeah. And that's it. There they all are. The dreaded Y bones. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.